Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate your fuel for whenever you're going to go fly. Um, so this first technique I use is for the 737, but I'm also going to show you guys how to calculate for any other plane. So if you guys want to know how much fuel you need for your 737-800, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. But it's basically um, a manual. And once you open it up, um, you can go to right here. You can see um, it, it shows you the pages. So I'm going to scroll down to the correct page. Okay, so I'm finally here. So this is on page 56, if you were wondering. So it's a really easy thing. So right here, it shows you if you're going to fly for an hour, for example, so that's 60 minutes, okay? Um, it shows you everything you need to know. So this is everything we need to know. Um, for the total fuel, we need about 7,000. Um, it shows you how much fuel you're going to use for the cruising part. It shows you how much fuel for the, your climb, how much fuel um, for the left wing, how much fuel for the right wing. And it shows you, um, this is for 60 minutes and about 7,000 uh, pounds of payload. But imagine you're going to fly for 60 minutes with about like 20,000 pounds of payload. Let's scroll down. Here we've got about 23,000, so this would be it for 23,000. You would need a total of um, 7,000, uh, 7,000, about 7,000 pounds of fuel. This is how much fuel you would need for the cruising, 6,000 for your climb, um, left wing and right wing. And this is for 60 minutes with um, 23,000, about 20,000 uh, pounds of uh, payload so that's the first way to do it and it's really really easy um, and keep in mind this is for the 737 800 and I'll put a link to it in the description so you guys can find the manual and it, it is page 56 now the second way you can calculate your fuel is by using online flight planner and I'll also show you guys um, a third way there's actually another way it's uh, similar, similar to this one, but this one is really easy to use. So imagine I want to fly from uh, Los Angeles, and I want to head over to Seattle. So I put in my, my um, uh, departure destination and my plane. Make sure to put your plane. Make sure to put the right fuel unit that you're comfortable with, and you just create plan. And as you can see here, it shows me how much fuel is needed. So I need about 21,400 pounds of uh, fuel. This shows me how long I can fly with that fuel. So this is for about um, four hours. Um, so you want to look at the fuel on board, and this is how much fuel you'll need, and this is how much fuel, uh, how much time that fuel can last. Now, uh, the third way, it's really easy. You just use Simbrief. And it's the same as this one, and I'll put a link to this flight plan in the description as well. And I'll put a link to this one as well. So I'll do the same thing. I'm leaving from Los Angeles, heading over to Seattle. Do that. Let's choose our aircraft, so the uh, A350, for example. And I scroll down, and uh, if you were wondering, you can check your route right here. But um, you scroll down, you can check everything out. And basically, you want to actually, um, so you want to generate the OPP like that. Go ahead and choose it. It's going to do this. Um, and if you do want to um, download the file, you can. But this is what we're looking for. It's called the block fuel. That's basically the total fuel you'll need. Um, so it's about 18,000 kilograms, not pounds, kilograms. So the first method was using the manual for the 737-800. The second and third one was for any plane, basically. And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.